8.7 graphing radical inequalities. So to graph a radical inequality, we will use the same procedures that you guys use when graphing linear and quadratic inequalities. So let's say that we have y is less than the square root of x plus 2. So we can use the related equation y equals the square root of x plus 2. So we're moving the graph of um, the square root of 2 um, to units up. But since we have a less than, it's going to be a dash curve. Okay. So then our inequality says that it's less than. So we're going to shade the values below our curve. But we want to check um, a point. So let's check. Um, 1 and 0. Hi. So for our inequality, we have that y is less than the square root of x plus 2. So then we're saying that 0 is less than the square root of 1 plus 2. 0 is less than 3. That's true. Then the area that we shaded is correct. We want to shade only the positive x values because if we would put a negative um, value inside the radical, it would give us an imaginary um, answer, and we don't want that. Let's do another example. What if we have y is less than or equal to the square root of x minus 3? So that means we're graphing the graph of the square root of x, and we're moving it um, three units to the right. Since here we have the equality sign, less than or equal, then it's going to be a solid line. It's going to look something like that. Since our inequality says less than, so then we're going to shade everything below the curve. As you can see, I'm only shading the values. Okay, this is three. I'm only shading the values greater than three. And that is because of our domain. If we set what's inside the radical, greater than or equal to zero, then x has to be greater than or equal to 3. So now let's test a value. Um, what if we test 4 and 0? So then y is less than or equal to the square root of x minus 3. y is 0. Is that less than the square root of 4 minus 3? Is 0 less than 1? That is true. So then our shaded area is correct. Let's do one more example. What if we have y is less than or equal to the cube root of x plus 3? So we already know how to graph the cube root of x. So we're going to move it three units to the left. So then it's going to look something like this. And once again, it's going to be solid because we have that equality underneath. So then, since y is less than or equal, we're going to shade underneath the graph. And we want to test a value. So um, what if we test this point right here, 0, 0? OK. So y is less than or equal to the cube root of x plus 3. 0 is less than or equal to the cube root of 0 plus 3. 
zero is less than or equal to the cube root of three. So that's true. And that's how you graph radical inequalities.